were trying to look over there. Yeah. Okay. And they were saying this curtain was about to fall. What an amazing night. These beautiful ladies from all across the country did so wonderful. It was such a good time watching them. They were stunning. I want to welcome you back to our live show in this beautiful Chi Lounge behind the scenes, streaming live on the Miss You app, Facebook page, and YouTube as well, with exclusive co content, including the first interview with the newly crowned Miss USA 2016 coming up very soon. I'm your host, Mia Sanchez, Miss USA 2014, and this is the Miss USA Live Chi Lounge After Show. After seeing the girls rock that stage, I'm lucky to be joined by some of the impressive and talented women who have wild fans across the country and world. Joining me are the masterful runway coach, Luciera. Come on in. Hello, hello. And we're going to have this, you join us right over here on this beautiful couch. We're going to be chatting about so much. We're going to be chatting about the show, what you thought, who you thought was going to win, and all those pageant rumors that we hear about hands on top, hands on bottom, all of that fun stuff. I also have a few more guests joining me very soon. Next, we have Miss Universe 2015, Pia Warsbach. Come on, I'm in Pia. Hello, hello. It's only my second time meeting you. Nice to see you on the couch. Beautiful. Last but certainly not least is Miss Teen USA 2015, Catherine Hike. Come on in, beautiful. Hello. You too. And join us on this couch. Thank you for being with us on a special night. How are you ladies feeling? Wonderful. We have a microphone right there for you guys. All right, so what did you think about the night? Give me your first reactions, the winner, the show. What were you ladies thinking? I was so excited with the last two standing. First of all, let's start with confidently beautiful. They fit confidently beautiful. They both are so disciplined. Being athletes, being a lieutenant, discipline is what they've been um, showing me the entire rehearsal period, and I am so excited. Before I leave here, I just want to say... I think we got a universe coming. Oh, yes, ma'am. Really I agree excited. with you. Anybody else? What do you think about the show? The Backstreet Boys, the production? Yeah, I know Pia loves the Backstreet Boys. You were singing the whole time. <laughs> so, Pia, do you, lo you love the Backstreet Boys? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, yeah, I like grew up, well, not really grew up, but <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of theirs and. Um, I, I think I memorized all, all of their songs already by heart, so um, it was really um, exciting to see them because it was like I was watching Miss USA for the first time, mm -hmm. but at the same time watching a concert, so it was really fun. It was pretty amazing. So can you tell me, I know you are like the queen of runway right along with Lou, can you tell me what was one of your favorite runway walks? Do you have a girl that really stood out to you? Um, well, I know that Lou really trains the girls to um, project and to know which poses work best for their body types and their angles and um, if they look best smiling or fierce. And mm -hmm. um, um, I don't, the thing with me is I don't really look at the, I'm not so technical with the walk or the body. To me, what's more important is the presence, the stage presence, mm -hmm. the personality, and especially when they start to speak. Absolutely. So that, that's the um, that's what I notice more actually. I agree. And Lou, I like to tell the ladies, don't let the dress wear you. Mm -hmm. And one of the funny things I always like to say is, on planet Earth, humans beat fabric. On planet Zadar, 
fabric beats humans. Mm -hmm. So if that fabric gets in your way, move it, baby. Move it. Don't try to show a slit. They just saw both of your good legs in swimsuit. You know? So own it, walk it, and most important, love your dress. You must love your dress. It's one of the things that all the winners has in, have in common. Absolutely. You heard it from the expert, Lou Sierra. She knows she's the expert of Thank runway you. and everything that comes with it. So have you guys ever heard about that pageant rumor where if your hands are on top or on bottom, you win or lose? Has, has anybody heard of that? I you have. have. I, I think maybe have. it's a thing in the USA. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead and go uh, ahead. So, so it, what do you think about that? Is it real? Is it not? I don't think it's real. I think I don't think it really matters who's handed on top. To I me, I don't think so I mean, either. Sometimes it happens where the winner is on top, but I don't think it really means anything. I agree. It happened to happen this way tonight. Her hands were on top and she won. But guess what? I won Miss USA with my hands on bottom. So yeah. I don't think it's true. I no. really don't think it's true. So any favorite dresses? What dresses stood out to you tonight? I love the dress of um, Miss South Dakota. Mm -hmm. It was the white one with uh, with a blue accent. Yes, yeah. and that cape. When she came out, I was like, oh, like I had to control myself <laughs> and think, no, Lou wouldn't want me to <laughs> to um, re react like this. Right. <laughs> so um, I thought that she handled it very well and. Um, you know, I, lo I love the gowns because they were all so different, but then they they projected it differently. Mm -hmm. And none of them really, like, kind of looked like uh, alike. Each one so was very different. So I think it was all Lou's expertise. And well, <laughs> thank you. Now let me give you a little insight. All right. On that gown, at rehearsal, she was moving it too much. Mm -hmm. Someone told her to really move the fabric. Instead, all we did was place the arms out become sophisticated, lift the head, don't lose your neck, and then she just walked with it. It was breathtakingly beautiful. The wind will carry the fabric. Don't do the work for the dress. Mm -hmm. You be beautiful, Miss Universe and Mindset, and let the dress do what it does. Absolutely. And I heard a little rumor that that dress was actually designed by the same designer that designed Olivia Colpo's gown when she won Miss Universe. So might be one of those things where it's really good luck to make you into the top 15, top 10. Um, when it comes to swimsuit walk, who worked it the most? Anybody that particular, obviously, besides the winner, she did so good? Well, I, I'm just going to say that Virginia rocked my soul. And in my next life, I'm going to have a body like that. I've already arranged it with God. Please don't anyone copy me. Um, throughout rehearsals, all we could talk about was her physique. She just gave you body down. Nothing jiggled, nothing moved. I loved her energy. She was one of the few that posed sideways. Mm -hmm. I only had two girls, one at prelim and one tonight, that bothered to pose at an angle instead of straight on. So I loved her walk. All right, and mm -hmm. you ladies have a new sister queen joining you. So what is your advice to her? We're going to have you guys meet her very soon, but what's your advice to her? Uh, well, we can't wait to meet her. And, um, well, just listening to her speak on stage, I can tell I can tell that she's, we're going to get along. And, you know, like, um, you know, it's bittersweet because we have to um, say, goodbye for now to our sister Olivia mm -hmm. but it's also I was also so happy to see that a girl uh, uh, Miss USA uh, th this girl that won she's like the epitome of a Miss USA like she she's is. she's she's Miss USA mm -hmm. And, um, Strength and beauty all yes. in one. So I'm excited to actually meet her, get to know her, get to know her, the funny side of her, you know? Absolutely. So. And really quick, something you like to say to your new sister queen. Yes, well, I actually have met her before, so she, I like to see that she's the same person as she was on stage, as she is in real life. She's the same girl, and she really didn't let all of the fans get to her, and she just stayed true to who she was, and I think that's why she won Miss USA, but definitely just... To get close to your sister queens, because P and I got so close to Olivia, and the next Miss USA and next Miss Teen USA and Miss Universe are definitely going to have a great new sister. So. Absolutely, and Lou, are you excited to take her to Miss Universe? All I want to say to the boys and girls who are watching, 
get ready, and as I'm sure Miss DC would like me to tell you, polish off her crown, because that's how she likes it when she gets there. <laughs> Universe, here we come. Yes, Universe, here we come. Thank you so much, Absolutely. Lou, for joining us. Mm -hmm. And after having you with us, I kind of want to get back up there and rock that one. I love you twice. being my Miss USA. You do <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. I'll give you that. a hug real quick. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Another one. Of course. Mm -hmm. Two times for good time. Absolutely. Should Thank, I this yes, year? absolutely. Thank you so much, Lou, and we will see you soon. We'll see you at Universe. At Universe, absolutely. Bye. All right, so girls, we have, like I said, a new sister queen joining you. If you were to tell her all about New York City, Pia, and what it's like, give her advice for her first week. She's going into a media week. It's one of the hardest oh, wow. weeks. As I know, as Miss USA, you're waking up at 4 a.m., just like you did after Miss Universe. So what kind of advice would you give her? Well, I know for a fact already that she won't need much media training mm -hmm. because she can answer very well. And um, I'm just really excited to meet her. I'm so happy that there's so much diversity in this edition of um, Miss USA. Absolutely. And um, it's, uh, I think that's what um, America is all about. It is, yes. So, and, and, I, and I think We're that... We're a, a diverse country, and yes. it's so amazing to see that on stage at Miss USA and in our winners as well. Yeah. Um, it looks like we have the new Miss USA jo joining us right now. So if you guys want to get up and we can greet our new Miss USA, welcome to the family. These are your new sister queens. And thank you so much, Pia and Catherine, for joining us. I hope you ladies have fun in Las Vegas tonight. Have a good night. Thank you. And we'll hand this right on over to our Miss USA. Right. Welcome. You. Good night. See you later, beautiful. Bye. All right. Come on Hi. in. Hello. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Come join me on your couch. Ooh. All of this is yours. Everything is yours. You're oh, the queen wow. of the USA. How are you pleasure. feeling? You just won Miss USA. Congratulations. I feel like this is completely surreal. I'm waking. I'm waiting for someone to wake me up from this dream, and I'm just... I can't even believe it. I don't know what to say. Well, you look absolutely beautiful, and you slayed your questions. As Thank everyone you. knows, that crown looks like it fits right perfect on your head. Thank you so much. So the question that everyone gets right after they're crowned, what are you going to do? What are you going to eat? What are the first things you're going to do um, after you leave the arena? The first thing I'm going to do is going to Krispy Kreme. Oh, you missed, did you miss National Donut Day? I think I did. It was a few days ago, and if you didn't get a donut, you have to make up for that. There you go. So... <laughs> I have a dozen donuts. I like the glaze, the chocolate glaze with cream filling. It's my favorite, and I haven't had it for five months. Okay, so it's time. <laughs> it to is get time. Some. Absolutely. It is time so to can, treat myself. Can you tell us a little bit about your personal journey? We learned a little bit about who you are and what you do, but when did you decide that you wanted to become Miss USA and that you wanted to start this journey? What was that like? It was actually highlights. a very odd situation. I, I used to work in Target during um, during college, mm -hmm. and someone walked up to me and asked me, hey, have you ever been interested in pageants? I said, no, you know, Miss Congeniality, Sandra Bullock, no. <laughs> I've never been interested in pageants. And she met me at Starbucks the next day with a stack of pageant books, and she helped me enter into my first pageant that very next month. Wow, so it all came from working at Target. Oh it my all goodness. came from working at Target, and it was Who never knew? really... Um, it was never really something that I wanted to do. And I know a lot of girls, like, they're sitting at home and they're five years old and they see Miss USA on television. Mm -hmm. That was never my focus. My focus was always being in the military, being wow. in the Army. And uh, I realized that you can do more by standing on a platform. You can save lives by doing more than just being a soldier. You can inspire people. Absolutely. That's so much of what Miss USA is. Strong, yes. confident, beautiful, and you can use that platform to speak to so many people across. And I, I bet you are inspiring girls all across the world right I now and across so. our nation. So what is your main message? If you had a message to share with everyone as the new Miss USA, what do you hope insp to inspire girls about? What I hope to inspire girls is to make sure that you don't allow yourself to feel as if you can't accomplish something, that you are limitless, that women have this stereotype for not being capable of doing a lot of things, whether it's mental or physical challenges. And we are so capable of doing everything, whether that's being Miss USA, being Miss Universe, being a commander of a unit, being a CEO of an organization. 
all those things you are fully capable of doing. You just have to set your mind to it. Absolutely. Now, you're going to New York City. Have you been yeah. to New York City before? I have. You have. Have you ever lived in New York City? No. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. You're moving into the title holder apartment. Yes. What are you most looking forward to during your year as Miss USA? Huh, I'm looking forward to other than rooming with Miss Universe because she's one of my idols. Oh, yes. Other than that, I'm just used. To, um, I'm definitely looking forward to spreading the word. Um, my platform that I've been pushing in Washington D.C. has been PTSD care, making sure that we provide the resources that we need for our veterans when they're returning from deployments. So I know that something along with the Miss Universe organization platforms is something also that I want to push out there. Absolutely, you're going to be such a good Miss USA. I'm Thank so you. excited. I know they work along the side with the USO and Wounded Warriors, and you're going to have such a connection with them that's amazing now I know you just won Miss USA and you're probably not thinking about Miss <laughs> Universe yet but mm -hmm. what do you think will make you stand apart to become our next Miss Universe what We're crossing our fingers we think you can do it hmm I think what will make me stand apart from the rest of the candidates is just my background um, there's nothing perfect about me and I think that's what makes me so relatable mm -hmm. is the fact that my journey hasn't been easy, that I've gone through so many obstacles and hurdles. And those things is what inspires people around the world because Absolutely. they see someone that's gone through so much and still been able to accomplish their goals. So uh, that's what I hope to set apart from the rest of the candidates. And you are going to do that. So anything else that you want to say, any message that you really want to get across? My message is to continue to chase your dreams. Absolutely, and, and you will absolutely inspire everyone to do that. Thank you. So let's stand up. Okay. We are going to be signing off for the night. Alrighty. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in right here live on the Miss You app, Facebook, and our YouTube page. We're so excited. Would you like to say a few words to all your viewers and say good night? Good night, everyone. Thank you all so much for your support, and I can't wait to take you on this journey to Miss Universe and across the years, Miss USA. I don't know if you've said it yet, but let's have you introduce your name and your title, Miss USA 2016. <gasps> Ooh. Hello, everyone. My name is Ashana Barber, and I am the new Miss USA 2016, and I'm so honored to represent this nation. Thank you. Wonderful. So thank you so much, everyone that tuned in live. I'm Mia Sanchez, Miss USA 2014, here from the Chi Backstage Lounge. Good night, Las Vegas. Good night. Patrick,